I'm excited. Mainly because it has something to intrigue me. But there's always a level of excitement that comes with something very dark. First and foremost, the man was old. Never really been his unit. He's been here since 2018. Apparently he passed away. The wife forgot to pay on it. And then she said, you know what? I can't make the payment. Just sell it. I think she bought it for one specific reason and one specific reason only. I want you guys to comment below right now. And I want you to tell me, as Michael shows you this, what do you think was the one reason that I bought this storage? And you can see a toolbox here, which is probably what most people are bidding on. I'm going to tell you, that's not why. Now I'm going to show you one. It was right here. I don't know much about this, but this is an old, some type of modern Danish rocking chair. I told Michael we have a what? A $10 bet? Michael upped it. He said 10 I said, I'm a gambler, so I'm going to do it. I told him I'm going to get 800 for this in Alameda. So any less I win, though. If you get like even $750, i am not even going like, to count that. I get uh, the 10 bucks. We got a four-wheeler for you to take the stuff out with. Wow. Is it, is, is it in there? I don't think that's what's in there, Michael. What do you think's in there? Should we look? I don't think it's in there either. What are they? Ooh. This is weird. All right. <laughs> it's recycling cans, Michael. Right off Even the bat, better. The 10 speed, guaranteed 100 bucks in Alameda. Put the seat to this. So that's kind of cool. It goes right there. Let's see what I look like. This is hella basic, but nice. You know what I mean? It's just like... Is it really 800 bucks? You're just chilling. I think it, it might be. I can't tell you, to be honest with you. Well, the bed is made. I can almost smell where the treasure is in every storage. That's definitely a mirror. This looks really nice. Michael, it's a print of a very expensive painting. Damn. Yeah, that'd been dope. Hmm? I said, yeah, that definitely would have been dope if it was real. It would have been. Pirates, we are waiting, waiting, waiting for all the things to kick off today. Michael had to go to Tahoe to ski with his friend or snowboard for the day, so I had to drop him off early. I'm at the warehouse. I'm prepping. We're getting things ready. I've had a couple offers on this. Someone's trying to trade me a, about $4,000 in eBay sold comps for this Pussy de Rossi table. I'm contemplating doing it because they are pretty pricey cards anyway. But I just listed this to eBay for 8000 bucks, just because. Why not? I have another buyer coming right now. Potentially look at this. They want to pop the back off. They want to look at the model numbers. They offered me 5500 cash on the JBL Paragon that does not have an original cabinet. It is a little rough. Somebody was not the best, as you could tell, they just lived. But this is very expensive, all these parts. And they're offering me 5,500 cash. This does work, and I might just take it. You know what I mean? Screw it. The, the cabinet is not original. It is a custom-made cabinet, but it's all 100% original parts from the early models of the JBL Paragon. Then I got to get the box truck unloaded that was set from the flea market that totally flopped the last few runs. Oh, I hate the market. I actually just listed the mermaids, this one and this one. I actually just listed them right to eBay today, too, as well, for $7,777. I do have... An outstanding offer of 7000 with delivery to almost Washington, but I'm really not trying to do that. And we have Alameda coming in two weeks. We got a big whatnot train with a friend of mine, Locker Nuts, and Michael, so that's four of us. And then not to mention, tomorrow morning, I'm heading off to Vegas. Heading off to Vegas. I like Vegas. I'm not really going to gamble, but I do like gambling. Something that I've learned through the storage auction business in the last 15 years that I am a gambler by heart. I'm just cheap. I hate losing at casinos, so I never really went there. But I started to enjoy it, and it made me realize this is why I buy storage units. It's the same thing. But we are taking the girls to a couple of things. When we went to the Boss Reseller Remix and Spoke, we went to a place called Omega Mart. They were very jealous they wanted to go. So we're gonna take them. We're gonna go see a Circus O show. We're gonna go to Hell's Kitchen. And we're, I might hit a late night slot machine and everybody's asleep, you don't know. But maybe I'll show you all a little fun. And just like that, she's gone. Guess what I actually took for it. 
If you guess 4,700, oh, money spread. I, I, it's a haggling market with everybody. It is what it is. You get a lot of offers. You also get a lot of people who don't show up. And you got a lot of people play games. I'm the type of person rather sell something to somebody cheaper who I like than something more to somebody who's a jerk off. So I took their 4,700. It's gone. I mean, that was pure profit from that storage unit. That thing cost me almost nothing. About 12 bucks there, guys. Okay, I'm just kidding. That's probably like a $20 office chair. And that is a pretty cool luggage set. Should go to Alameda, but I'm not even gonna sweat it. California King. And I'm blanking. So it's looking like we got a bunch of just basic stuff, guys. Not, not gonna sweat it too much. A lot of straight nonsense here. A lot of basic stuff in here, guys. I mean, talking trivial dishes, paperwork, crutches, three, four dollars a piece. We got this right here, a stand. That's how fast it was. I mean, it does two dollars, guys. Somebody do $2 at once. Let's go. Told y'all, I'm not into going to every single box. I love making videos, but it has slowed down my business. It has given the competition an edge because I'm too busy making videos fingering trivial things and not getting to the next unit fast enough. And that's one of my goals right now is just to get through the stuff. Most of this is going to be trivial, but there might be a gem. I already have a couple things set aside that made me buy the unit. Planner. Ooh, showing. Oh, dang. When you see that, tell me you don't think, oh, silver scent. sewing stuff that had me there for a second guys for someone who's been through this already or hasn't been in here in years this has kind of gone through so what i ended up with guys that's a really cool bench this to me looks like probably 200 in alameda it's very unique. A lot of stuff that's just going straight to the flea market. Real quick, this Bianchi bike. This bad boy is probably 100 to 200 in Alameda. This piece of art right here, it is a print, but that's 40, 50 bucks easily. This hat, I'm concerned, or uh, considering about 40, 50. This backpack, somebody will 100% buy in Alameda. And this chair. I'm still thinking I'm going to ask 800, but I can guarantee I get at least 400. We kept a bunch of vintage shirts. I don't know if they're really going to do much, but I'm just trying to keep a little something, something from here. This is a Oshkosh. This is some silk shorts. This is a Gerber knife right here. Uh, uh, uh. That is a Gerber knife. That's worth 20 bucks, I think. This is my good box, basically. This is pretty fly right here. Fiberglass. Got the maple leaves inside of there. You know I love maple leaves. We got this vintage derby jacket. Uncle Michael, comment below if that reminds you of jackets you used to wear. We got a slew of more vintage pieces here. I just grabbed this whole stack of shirts. I don't know why, but it looked kind of cool. Most of them were all dirty and white, but these were cool, cool ones. A stack of 45s. An old book. And we got the little pencil kit. I got this monkey pod bowl. And I got this Pendleton. That's pretty fly right there. That's probably 40, 50 bucks minimum. And another vintage shirt. And that's literally the just of it, guys. I'm going to literally have Uncle Chris take this with the rest. Pirates, we've made it. I am making a little video. It's a continuation of my last video. I'll show you guys a little fun we have, but this is our room here. We got a basic room at MGM. I'm not type just throw around money. We don't need $12,000 night rooms, but look at that. This is perfect. Cause we're gonna spend all our time out of the room. Cheese. Okay. We're just cruising the strip guys, taking a look at everything. Showing the girls all the cool stuff. The Bellagio, one of the most 
probably infamous parts of the strip, the music show that comes here all the time. We're checking out the Bellagio. Oh my God, look at this little teacup taking the girls to see the garden. Well, I went to the bathroom and I lost my family. There's somewhere that you guys comment below if you can see Jess and the girls. I can't, but this is nuts up in here. It's crazy here, guys. There's a lot of people. I want to show you guys this cool stuff, but I also don't want to bore you. But look at the, look at the ambiance there. They spare no expense here to get you all excited before you walk in places like that or places like that. They got almost got me wanting to go buy a Roly. No spence, no point in buying a dang Roly when my phone tells me the time. I ain't trying to press nobody. It's a little warm out here today, guys. I, I'm always in a hoodie and a sweater, but. That's what we're going to dinner soon. Guys, guys, I just won a thousand dollars. No fucking way. I ain't even lying. Pirates, if you guys ever get a chance to eat here, I highly recommend it. Everything top notch at Hell's Kitchen. Would you get shrimp on yours? Oh my goodness. So, I just found out the one layer of the strawberry was goose liver. I thought it was a mushroom. <laughs> no, it's goose liver. <laughs> Look at this, guys. New York strip. Mac and cheese. Lobster risotto. Mac and cheese. Filet mignon. And the shrimp from my deer. Let's go. My bad. I'm th the goose liver got me all fricked up. That's the salmon. <laughs> all right, guys, we had to get some dessert. We got some chocolate squid coming in. I don't know how I ended up with a goose liver, guys. I thought I was getting, it said strawberries and chocolate. Don't ask me how I got chocolate or a freaking goose liver, but nothing will ever be the same after this. Comment below what you guys think. I noticed that everybody back here in Hell's Kitchen either has red bandanas or they have blue bandanas. So what I'm thinking is they support both gangs. So if you were working here, what gang would you choose? Blue or red? I'm just curious, everybody. Oh my God, guys. I think I just gained 50 pounds. I need an honest opinion. In case Gordon Ramsay watched this, he needs to know. I think he is for sure. What's your opinion? What do you think? On the place? On the food. Personally, my experience was... Oh, Say it loud so we can hear. Well, Be I, honest. I would give it a 3.5 out of 5. You heard that, Gordon. She said 3.5. Naya? Uh, I give it a 4. I like it. Yes? I like it. I'm still mad about the goose liver. Jess ain't happy about the goose. I'm giving him a 5 out of 5, guys. That's all there is to it. Gordon, yeah, the girls aren't very happy. The meat was kind of dry. Dry and tasteless. Meat was kind of dry. Get on your cooks. It's time to have a little fun. This auditorium, guys. I didn't film this last time we were here because you're not supposed to film, but this place, this show is awesome. We had to take the girls because we really enjoyed it last time. Even though I slept through the previous one, I'm staying awake for this one. Sadly, guys, they don't let you film in there, and I'm not one to break the rules. I don't want to try to do that, but that show was exquisite. Let me, what do you think? Um, I kind of got scared at one point because it was like a triangle, and they jumped down, and I thought someone was about to hit it. You thought, what are you thinking, I? I'm extremely tired, but it was really fun. It was pretty wild, right? I was right, like it was like a weird, but wild show. I want to go to sleep. My throat hurts. I just hit my second jackpot. I'm kind of juiced. A thousand and a thirteen fifty four, and I haven't really even spent that much. We got gender fluid, guys. It's so pretty here, guys. Look, man, this is so awesome. I match everything here. Look at that. I'm a plant. How much time do you think went to just this one little cool thing right here? Oh 
Again, you guys saw this in a previous, but this place is just off the hook, isn't it? This day, he who laughs last, thinks slowest. Stay alert, my friend, and laugh heartily and quickly. For a small fee, Zoltar will tell you more of his secrets, and wisdom is priceless. All right, guys, the girls are doing this little thing here. It goes all the way around Omega Mar. Like 700 foot drop there, so hopefully they're all right. seen it. Uh, I've never been to it, but it's like the third time we drove by it. Pirates, we are here in Vegas and I got a very special guest. As you guys know, I've introduced you to some of the best and biggest YouTube storage buyers you guys have ever seen. Today, you're going to get to meet another one. I told him I'm coming to Vegas and he bought this unit right here so we can make a video and see how they do it in Vegas. He paid how much? 140. 140. We're about to see what's inside. Pirates, this is Mikey Bags of Money. I met him at the Boss Reseller Remix a few years ago. He's a pretty cool guy, very funny, does a lot of great stuff on your channel. Tell him about yourself. All right, well, I'm Mikey Bags of Money. I'm a reseller. I got into it. I used to be in construction. I got hurt on the job, sold a pocket knife on eBay, never looked back. I love reselling. I love the community. I just started buying storage units. Uh, this is number nine right here, and I've Damn, he's at number nine. He just started. Just started, man. And it's awesome. I love the rush of looking through random stuff that people left behind. Real quick, what's the best thing you found in nine storage units so far? Uh, probably a school gold ring. Yeah, it was it was worth a $250 at the pawn shop. Not the pawn shop. Jewelry. I just tried to scrap it. it? Yeah, I just scrapped it and uh, eh, quick flip and I got my money back for the unit and I was like, cool, man. Also found some medical devices, like some kind of things that like uh, do some kind of ligature or something. I don't know, 200 bucks a pop in a storage wow. unit, dude. Sold within a day. So what made you, I want to know, I want, I like to know why people, what made you want this one? Okay, it had some men's clothing right there. So I thought maybe it was nice, you know, they took care of things, hopefully, since it was on the, uh. Oh, did I say Goodwill? Uh oh. All right, not good. And uh, there was a personal picture of a couple where they were on vacation. So I thought they had money to vacation. They might have money to just leave behind in storage in it. And the bedding was high this day. Like everything was going for a lot. So I thought I could scoop this. It wasn't too hard to get out. I don't have a lot of storage or anything like that. So I'm hoping it's easy to process, quick, easy, bang, bang. Guys, we've been pulling some cool stuff out of here. Um, and a lot of junk out of here too. This box was a pretty cool box. I think he actually got his money back and this crazy, insane, extra large, which is a very good size climbing harness and the straps. I can guarantee he's almost damn near doubled his money in just that one find on this storage unit. Something like that's kind of cool. And there's a lot of junk in here. You know, I don't like to show you guys all the junk all the time because you, I buy a lot of junk and you guys get tired of it. But we got some tow ropes and some nice climbing rope. This stuff is great right here. And look at this pimp hat. Look at this pimp hat. If he ever needed another job in Vegas, he can gladly take this up, get himself a couple hoes and get out there and start pimping. I'm telling you. All right. Ooh, Oakley. I've got a lot of faith in this bag. It's heavy. It's weighted nice. It doesn't feel like all paperwork. All right, I always check the small first. You go for the small or the big? Um, I don't have a rhyme or reason. All right. Um, oil of Olay? Ooh. No. Okay. Right. Let's, hopefully it's not full of bath stuff. I found that you find a lot of bath stuff in storage units. Lottery ticket? Ooh. Could this person be rich and not even know it? Oh, socks. Socks. Strikeout number two, third time's a charm. Mm -hmm. 
What do we got here? Oh, an accident kit. Dude, I thought that was a money bag for sure. It could still be a money bag. For sure. Oh. You know what I mean? Like that. Nope. It's an accident. Some kid. trucker stuff, right? Yeah, I think he's a trucker. Yeah. Maybe he's out of town and just couldn't pay, and then his old lady didn't want to pay for all the crap in here. Um, oh. Come on, baby. Shoe polish. All right, nothing, nothing in here. All right, I gotta say that was a disappointment. Yeah, that's an unscratched lotto ticket. Whoa, unscratched lotto ticket, man. Do you have a quarter? I don't do it. Does anyone carry quarters anymore? I, d I might have a key. Well, oh, I do got a quarter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, guys, we got an unscratched. We could hit, we could hit yeah, right I'll here. I'll split it with you, whatever. We can get 10,000 bucks. Okay. We gotta go to Colorado. That's fine. But for 10,000, we'll fly in style. All right, do you go for the winning? No, we gotta see the prizes first, right? 10,000. Oh, oh, we got to find the number that matches. These are our prizes. All right. The number is going to be there. under the dollar sign. Yes. So we need a six. A six gets us the 10 G's, uh, 10, 40, and 30 right here. Give us the six. Almost. Is there two numbers or just one? Oh, <laughs> that'd be the sad story. Sad oh, no. story. Come on, free win. Guys, that was no. crazy. Imagine if we just won 10 grand and these people Dang. had 10 grand sitting in their unit. That would have been sick. Woo. My first lotto scratcher. That's crazy. Guys, can you imagine being in Vegas and finding unscratched slot? I mean, that's like going away from the slot machine, but just not taking your 25 out, right? Just leaving it for the next person. Let's see what the bonus is. All right, here we go. Right, Scratching we tickets. We need to uncover a 50 in that bonus. Win instantly. Match any of your cards either in the prize. Uncover that symbol. All right, let's go right here. Your cards. We got a six. We got a four. Let's come on, reverse Uno. Reverse Uno. 20 Gs we were looking at. Oh, man, this one looks confusing. I got it. All right. I've played a few myself <laughs> <laughs> so we got I'm, I'm gonna do like you did and we're gonna get the winning numbers next all right yeah we don't have lottery scratchers in vegas or nevada oh. yeah winning cards are number eight. Oh, oh, oh. Blue this is eight. Sure. i always Blue like to make eight. sure come on baby okay no no instant win and a number seven so you can also there's a trick somebody taught me long ago but you can usually see letters inside of the tickets and it'll all tell you what the number is it might say like t-e-n randomly spread out but let's see if we have any more that's what's crazy. You know what? Here's how you make your money back. You go sell. You don't have lotto tickets here? No. You sell this to somebody who's just itching to scratch. Oh! Of you sell that for 30 bucks. Look, here's another one that's crazy. Crazy. All right. Well, I think I'm going to scratch those at home with, with my wife, Supercourt. And uh, see how that goes. So yeah. stay tuned to see the results. Another one. Oh, another one. All right, let's scratch that one now. I'll take the others home. I, no, I got to take them home. All right, all right. I like that idea. Yeah, all right. So, st yeah, like I said, stay tuned to the end. All right. Oh, so sick. Pirates. This man got three more of these. I told him since there's no lotto tickets in the state of Nevada, he should just try to sell them because he could probably make money. People are itching. They're tired of the slot machines. But... If you want to know if he won something, definitely go to Mikey Bags of Money's channel. He's going to take these home and go through them. You will definitely see this on his video. Pirates, I got to get back to the vacation. You know Jess is waiting for me and the girls. But I appreciate Mikey Bags of Money here. Let me come out and do this. Um, you're going to have this video out soon? Yeah, this video is going to be out sooner than you know it. I might even put it out tomorrow, dude, because I'm excited. And yeah, it's going to be out tomorrow. Check it out. I'll put his link to his channel in the bottom. Appreciate you guys. Go check it out. He'll have this whole unit on there, and you can see everything that was found. We are back from making a video of my buddy Mikey Bags of Money. We're in the M&M store, guys. Can you believe there is four floors worth of M&M merchandise to even be sold? Yes, I'm in a store. It is four. We went up three escalators to get to the fourth floor of an M&M store. All the M&Ms you ever seen. Guys, we are at Wolfgang Puck for dinner. We got Spaghetti Brothers over there, Wagyu Brothers over here. Let's go. That's a pretty tight little scene right there, just seeing like the the whole business there. 
All right, guys, we're here at the Adventure Dome, man. Good old rundown circus circus, guys. Girls are getting ready to go on their first ride, and I think it's gonna be wild because I know they're gonna go on that. That's kind of. I wonder if it's the same one. No, maybe not. So. And they really squeeze them in here, huh? Oh, look at that. Yeah, we just left the buffet, guys. So hopefully, they don't get sick. Comment below. Are you going on this ride if you're here? There it goes, guys. Comment below if you can see the girls. I don't see them yet. I don't see them yet. I see them. They are right there. Guys, you going on this ride? I need to know. The girls, I think, are in the front. There they are. Yeah. Ah you can hear Evie, everybody. That is Evie. She must have saw a spider. Watch this. Ah. Hells to the no. I can tell you guys I'm not going on this ride. She is crying. She is straight. You guys see her wipe her, her eyes. Oh, I should be on the other way so I can get her face. Right there. She's scared. She might not make the roller coaster sad. I think she just flipped us off. <laughs> oh, that's crazy, chap. Let's go. Y'all live? They're, not, they're, they're in shock right now. Say what? I'm on the jackpot first time. Nice. Ah, oh, you got a five. actually put people in there that's how big that Wait, is huh? gotta throw them faster oh you failed we're done a circus circus had to just take the girls to see this wild place which is actually pretty calm right now but one of the coolest places ever to go hang out for a couple hours guys it's that time we're out to dinner eating stuff i don't even know what i got we're definitely not eating goose liver tonight, but that is fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. I gotta try it. I don't know where we're at. We're at a Nelly's in MGM. My first time here, but I'm getting fried green tomatoes and chicken and dumplings way out of my element tonight. By the way, cheers, Pratch. You guys don't see me take many days off. This is literally my first day off in some time almost made it through all of q1 about a day off but cheers to you all right pirates the vegas vacation is over and i just had to come to my warehouse do a little work and get to my safety place just just tell them i don't like to be away from work do i no we just got home 30 45 minutes ago and we're here we're she came with me actually, but it's, it's just, I'm, it's what I'm used to. We are this close to completing some goals and I got to stay on track. Pirate, this is pretty fire here, Pirates, so I didn't get a chance to go through this. I thought Uncle Chris sent me a photo and I'm thinking we only got one box and one box, but we bought a bunch of pieces of QVC clothes, pallets, 
Bro, this is pretty fire, guys. I'm not gonna bore you with the video, but I will show you some of this just so you guys can see what I got. No one wants to just look at a thousand pieces of women's clothes. Ha, ha, ha.